Hi, in this video we are going to see about a python project which is entitled as Medicinal Herbs Identification which is an IEEE 2023 conference paper. So before seeing the execution of the project let me be about this project. So we all know that the herbs or the medicinal plants are very helpful for the medicinal purpose for the human beings and especially in the type of medicine called Ayurveda we all know that they generally use the medicinal herbs so in this paper the authors have implemented the identifying the herbs because there are many kinds of plants and herbs are available so identifying by a normal human being is very difficult also and implementing this model that is using the deep learning identifying the medicinal herbs identification is being done in it and kindly note that we are not going to use the same as mentioned in the base paper so in the base paper they have used a and an artificial neural network and also they have used the uh, data set which contains around 1822 images which is from the via data set and also which consists of 30 different plant species only and the accuracy they have achieved is 93.02 so we are not going to use and we are going to enhance using our enhanced proposed model so we are going to use exception architecture model as our proposed system and the training accuracy that we have achieved is 93.34 percentage and the validation accuracy that we have achieved is 96 point seven nine percentage and and for the data set we are going to use a different data set which is named as vn plan 200 data set which contains around 200 distinct categories so here you can see the base paper title is medicinal herbs identification and our proposed title an ai based approach for advancing medicinal plant identification using deep learning and our proposed abstract where you can see the model that we are using exception architecture and the accuracy of the model and the data set that we have used and these are the existing system and design and existing system the proposed system and the advantage of the proposed system and the system architecture where we'll be giving the medicinal plant image as data as input data set and the exception architecture the predicted results have been done and the model laws and model accuracy graphs have been plotted so now I will show you the data set part. So in the source code we have the data set. So we have the test and train where let us go to the test part where you can see the 300 classes from starting from A to Z you can see. And in each category you can see which consists around 60 images here. So this is the data set that we are going to train up with. For example, I'll show you with Olivera. You can see this is the Olivera that generally many people know about it. So this is the different data set images for the Olivera. The same like that the 200 classes images have been trained up with from A to Z you can see. discuss iris so these are all the things that has been used for the data set training and this is available for the test cases of this data set now let us see the execution of the project so first copy the source code location now go to the command prompt now go to the drive location for example I have pasted the code in the F drive so let me go to the F drive and then type CD and paste the location that we have copied and click enter now type python app.py and click enter So now you can see the 
URL here just copy the URL so before execution make sure that you have satisfied the requirement that is mentioned in the requirements file with the exact version of the python and the libraries now after copying the url go to any of your browser i'm going to firefox and paste the link and now you can see the home screen or the welcome screen of the project with the project title that is medicinal herbs identification or an AI based approach for advancing medicinal plant identification using deep learning approach so just click this login menu it will be navigated to the login page kindly note that this is a static login page because we have not used any database in the project so just enter the default username and password as admin and admin and then click login so now the login is success and click ok now it will be navigated to the preview part where you need to upload the image and test it and many people will be asking me that if you are giving some other images like human image or an animal image other than the data set that we are trained up with it will show a random result only because because we cannot train up all the images in the model so only the data set images that we have trained up it will be working for so it, is, it may be a test or train both anything we can able to test it so first let me go to the project source code location where you can find the test data so you can see all the 200 classes here so we in this video i cannot show you all the 200 classes because it takes more time so for that purpose i'll show you with the few cases so first let me go to the first one abil moshes sangitophilus so let me select an image randomly and click submit and now you can see the prediction result is abil moses and again if you wanted to check with other image just click this preview menu again it will be navigated to the preview part so just select the browse and go to the any of the folder i will go to the olivera which everyone knows and let me select an image and then click submit and now you can see the predicted result is olivera so let me go to the preview menu again and this time let me go to any other let me go to bengal a room and select it and then click submit and now you can see the image that we have selected and the prediction result is bengal a room and now let me go to the preview menu again and let me go to the other folder wrote and let me select this and click submit and you can see the predicted result is Croton. let me go to the preview part so this time let me go to the train data folder so just go to the model folder and the data set let me go to the train let me select some other called mesa let me select this and then click submit and now you can see the predicted result is mesa so in this way you can check with the test and trained data this time i'll go with the train folder itself again let me select paper and then click submit and now you can see the predicted result is paper battle me go to the final folder that is easy 5 s let me select an image and then click submit and now you can see the predicted result is zephis so in this way you can check with the other data set images of the three 200 categories with the both test or train image also and now let me go to the final part that is the chart part so kindly note that this is a static chart this is not a dynamic chart because many people confuse that for each image you will get a chart no this is a static chart so this chart is being plotted from the model that we have developed so this chart is about the model loss and model accuracy which consists of the loss and the epochs so this is the model loss and the model accuracy graph now let me log out 
and this is all about the project medicinal herbs identification or an AI based approach for advancing medicinal plant identification using deep learning and thank you for watching